Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 238. Welcome. Okay, so I have one finished object to show you and about three works in progress, looking at my notes here. Okay, so my finished object, I actually showed it yesterday in my Stitch Your Library uh, collaboration that I'm doing with Rebecca of Yarn and Pajamas, uh, but since the project is finished, I'll go ahead and show it over on in this video as well. <laughs> okay, so this is the Turtle Time Pillow. I think it turned out so cute. Um, I will be uh, glad that I'll be able to uh, add it to my collection of toys for the grandbaby that he can play with while he is here. So anyway, he is so cute. Now he came from the, uh, the pattern came from the Crochet World magazine. It was the episode, I mean not episode, <laughs> the issue April of 2020. Yeah. And so anyway, that's where I got the pattern. Um, you may be ev eventually be able to uh, purchase it just as it's by itself on ePatterns Central possibly because uh, Annie's catalog or Annie's, it's just Annie's now I think it's called. They, they're the ones that put out Crochet World Magazine and they also do the ePatterns Central. So, um, might be able to find there, find it. I will look for it, and, and if there's a link, I'll post it below um, in the description box. <laughs> anyway, he is finished. Super cute. I love his little wonky smile that I stitched on. <laughs> okay, so that is finished object number one and the only finished object. Okay, so uh, I've been working on, on to works in progress. <laughs> I've been working on a um, baby shower gift, and I've been... Uh, trying to hurriedly uh, get it finished because last week I if you watched that episode I told you it's for a baby shower gift and the baby shower is going to be January the 15th and today is January the 6th <laughs> so um, I just have uh, a little over a week <laughs> and they need it needs to be finished so this week I've been focusing most of my energy on getting this um, when the poo blanket finished and uh, I'm very happy to say that I got the center part the the image of the blanket finished and so let me show you that I'm just now working on the um, the um, border <laughs> because when I measured it after I got the 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 image part done it only turned out to be like 27 inches wide and by I think 32 I think that's what it was and I wanted it to be more than that and so, um, let's see, there's a ball of yarn connected to it, so let me hold it like this, <laughs> so then you can see it. Okay, so here is the Winnie the, Pooh, Winnie the Pooh blanket. This is a corner to corner project, corner to corner crochet, and I did it with the uh, mini corner to corner. I do have a tutorial on showing how to do that. I, I really like the way it turns out. I think, um, and I also used DK weight yarn. Uh, I think it makes the image very sharp, uh, a little bit different. I think it's sharper image than than doing regular uh, corner to corner where you only do we use uh, double crochets. Um, this is uh, and worsted weight. <laughs> so this is DK weight yarn. I'm using Premier Premier Basics DK. I think yeah, and um, I just think it turned out so cute. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, it's the mini corner to corner. You use half double crochets instead of double crochets, okay? And then I used, um, what hook? I've got it here. I used an H hook, which is five millimeter hook, okay? Okay, so there is the blanket. Now, what I'm doing for the, um, the border is I found this tutorial here on YouTube. I just searched like, C to C borders, I think. And so I found this one I thought was really interesting. It is a ribbed border. So you do um, you do front post and back post double crochets. You alternate, okay? And so it makes this ribbed effect. I don't know if you can see that. Not really. <laughs> um, so what I did is I did the first round in the blue, and then I thought, well, I I got a half more of the brown part done. I mean, more of the brown yarn left, and so uh, I wanted to bring that in as a stripe. And as you can see right here in the corner, I'm I'm 
that's kind of what it's going to be looking like because I'm adding the next row, which is the blue, going back to the blue. Okay, so uh, I will finish that out. I don't know if you can really see the texture of that. See, it's front post, back post, okay? And it makes kind of a ribbed texture. And I, I'm liking the way it's looking. Um, after I finish this round of the blue, then um, I don't know if I will... I don't know. I don't know if I want to go back to the the put another brown stripe in, or if I should put brown on the very edge, or maybe just do another round of like single crochets or something of the blue. I'm not sure, and it depends on how um, how it's um, growing, you know. Because I the reason I was putting the border is to enlarge the size just a little bit more. Okay. But it's already a pretty good size, so um, I'll let you know <laughs> what I do with it. Uh, yeah, I'll, sh I'll be able to show it to you next week, and, and hopefully the blanket will be finished by next week, next episode. So that way um, I can show you that. Okay, uh, the color, I don't have the ball bam with me. The blue, it's like I said, it's Premier Basic. I um, can't remember. If it's blue, I think it's just called blue. Maybe I'm not sure. I I do know the yellow right here. That is, uh, I think it's called daffodil, and then the the brown is actually Karen Simply Soft, and that is actually a four weight yarn, but it's a thin four weight, and so it worked well. Um, you know with the other yarns I think it was a similar size and I just used that for the outlining and it was just a piece of a skein that I had left over it's called chocolate I think I think that's that color and that's it oh and then the uh, purple here is also it was just a ball of baby yarn I had back there um, no ball band it was already wrapped up wrapped it was probably it could have been Bernat uh, softy baby I'm not sure but anyway so that's the color I did for the butterfly okay so that is gonna be part of the gift and then I told you uh, I was mentioning last week when I was talking about this that I didn't know what I wanted to make some sort of amigurumi to go along with that blanket and um, I had different choices I, I didn't know for sure what to do well I went ahead and decided and in thank you so much for your comments and your thoughts on that um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Eeyore like I did the last time because I think it just goes really well with this um, blanket because it's also the classic poo from the storybook illustrations not the Disney and so um, that's gonna what I'm gonna do so I started it and I'm using the same blue that I used uh, with the blanket um, because this is the last of a three pack that I had but I ordered another three pack I have down there I haven't unwrapped it yet so I do have more of the blue and so I'm going to um, you know it's it's using the same color so it'll go with the blanket <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> okay so this is all I've done I've done the body so far and I'm using like a e hook I think I'm, I'm you know making it small because it is like I said DK weight yarn um, I will pop in a picture right here of the finished Eeyore, the one I made before, because this will be the second time I've made this uh, pattern. And so here is what this is going to look like. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's what I'll be working on next well at the same time I, I like I said I have, I've only done the body so I need to do the other parts um, the Winnie Pooh chart I found on Etsy um, it was very cheap it was like less than four dollars I want to say it was two dollars and something but maybe it's three dollars and something now I'm not sure but I will link it below in the description box where I got it. I just got the chart and then I did the corner to corner uh, with it. I don't know if there's corn to corn instructions that come with it. Mainly, I think it's the chart. But anyway, um, and then the, like I said, this ribbed border that I'm putting on it, it is, uh, there's a tutorial here on YouTube, and so I will link that border tutorial down below. I can't remember, 
I want to say Amy Crochets, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's what that is. I don't remember, <laughs> but I'll link it below in the description box. Okay, and then the Eeyore pattern, I can link that below as well. It's free <laughs> also. Okay, um, well, the poo chart is pay. You have to pay for that, but the borders tutorials free the Eeyore patterns free okay um, so that is the two works in progresses I've been working on and then I just started another one and this one is leftover from my vlogmas so during vlogmas the videos I did I did a swap with Valerie of Valerie's cuddly cat crochet and so what we did is three three days of the week during the vlogmas swap we included a package uh, that was what we were calling a challenge kit where she would we would give each other a ball of yarn and some sort of accessory to go with it and then we had to figure out something to make with it to donate to um, the Garfield make along that Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet has each summer and so uh, I had one challenge kit left I hadn't done anything with and so this is what was in the challenge kit it was this blue ball of yarn, okay, and a piece of ribbon, this red with white polka dots, okay, and then there was a bow in there, which is also red, and it's got a, a, a rubber band on the back, okay, so that there was a bow that was in there, and then the, the little envelope here, and it has a pair of safety eyes, um, black safety eyes. <laughs> okay, and so uh, I had to, had to figure out something to make with that. So what I decided to do is I'm making another bunny like I made the other bunny. I guess I'm stuck on bunnies right now. But I found a tutorial. I have made this before, and it's a tutorial by Happy Berry Crochet. Uh, I think it's it was part of her Yarn Scrap Fridays series that she used to have years ago. And so it is a bunny and uh, I did take a screenshot of like the thumbnail of one of her videos because it's like a three part tutorial. And so let me put a picture in it right here of the bunny that I was aiming to make. Okay, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Okay, so that is the bunny that I'm going to be making, and my plans was, was I'm using white yarn for the bunny, okay, and I do have a ball of white yarn that's left over from a previous challenge kit, so I'm using that, I'm going to use it up, and then if I need more, I'll just match it to a white that I have. I'm hoping this is probably Red Heart Super Saver white maybe anyway I'll try to match it and then I will finish that up if I need more um, and then I'm going to make the body because the body of the bunny was a different color like an out like a like an it's like it's an outfit and so I'm going to use the blue for that okay and then the um, the bow I'm going to put over one of the ears I think I did that with the other bunny that I made. I guess I'm kind of stuck on that. I couldn't think of anything else to do with it. So it's what I'm going for. <laughs> and then I'll use the safety eyes for the bunny. And then I had this ribbon left and I was thinking, what do I do about the ribbon? Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'll tie the ribbon either around the bunny's neck and make a bow or yeah, I'll probably do that. Yeah, unless I can turn that outfit into a dress. But that's what I did before is, oh, that's right. I had a strip of, um, uh, beads right no it was like faux pearl trim and I did that around the dress of the bunny that's what I did so I, I think what I'll do is probably tie this maybe into a bow or something around the, the bunny's neck or something I'm not sure <laughs> but I will include it all together and then I will um, show you <laughs> but this is what I've done so far I'm just starting the head and see I've, I'm just following the tutorial and that's as far as I've gotten so far is the head now it is coming out bigger than what I was wanting it I was wanting it to be smaller than that but um, once I start doing decreasing it may turn out smaller than I'm thinking so I did I have made this before but I think I used DK weight yarn when I made it before I think anyway so that is my challenge the last challenge kit so I'm, I'm glad that I am I found a use for this and to, to use that challenge kit um, and so that is all the works in progress. So I've really, like I said, I've really been working on the um, this poo blanket. I'm really happy that I got the image done <laughs> um, because that's is the most time consuming. So um, 
and I'm really liking the way it's turning out. It's it's nice. I, I like it. <laughs> um, so what else? I can I guess I can go to upcoming. So upcoming. Yesterday I did stitch your library, and I finished my project. My turtle blanket. I mean not blanket. Oh gosh, I got blanket on the brain. <laughs> turtle pillow. <laughs> and um, since I'm finished with it. In yesterday's video, I presented three new projects. I showed pictures of the three, put, uh, you know, choice A, choice B, choice C, and then I asked people to vote in the comments of that video which project they want me to do next. So the voting is has begun, and I'm getting, I'm tallying up the votes as, as they, they're coming in, and then, of course, it will be two weeks before I, um, will announce the winning project and so um, I'll link the video below in the description box so that way if you haven't seen it then you can check it out and, and choose which uh, project you want me to do next. So I'm excited to see which one's going to be the winner, <laughs> which project. <laughs> um, and so that is was yesterday and upcoming or what's going on. <laughs> and then also uh, I finished my room uh, pretty much getting my room cleaned up. So uh, I had mentioned before that I wanted to get it cleaned up um, before the new year. And so the week right after Christmas up until New Year that week um, my husband and I worked in this room getting it cleaned up and in we I decluttered them some things I have two big trash bags like the kitchen trash bag size of items that I'm going to be donating to Aubrey's Angels the lady that is going she'll be picking them up next week and so that's good I got uh, decluttered some stuff uh, some finished objects that I've been hanging on holding on to and so we did that. We changed the lighting around. Um, thank you for the feedback off of yesterday's video. I did remember to turn my ceiling fan off so you can't see the shadow of the <laughs> the ceiling fan moving. Um, I think we tweaked the lights again just a little bit ago, and I think the setup is getting even getting better. I think we're, we got it pretty much in a good position, so that's good. <laughs> um, but I am uh, wanting to... Um, do a new room tour because uh, I changed a little bit up in here. I did take a before picture of the disaster area. I didn't take any pictures of in progress, but I do have a before picture. And then, so I can show you that. I'll show, I'll be brave and show it to you. <laughs> and uh, and then you can see how it was, how it changed. My husband did some work inside my closet, craft closet over here. And, and we did some, quite a bit of reorganizing. So, um, the whip wall is different now and it's not a whip wall anymore so uh, but anyway I'll be uh, I don't know when I'll get to that filming it uh, maybe the first part of next week uh, I got a busy weekend coming up so we'll see but I it's coming soon okay <laughs> um, and so that's that yeah that's what's upcoming and then after that I don't know I mean there's always something upcoming <laughs> um, but anyway Thanks so much for watching today. Um, I think, I guess that's it. Except that I do thank and welcome the new subscribers to my channel. I think, welcome. Hope you enjoy uh, my videos. And if you haven't um, subscribed, <laughs> can't think of the word. If you haven't subscribed, then please consider doing so and follow me along on my projects that I work on. I try to make a, do a variety of different projects. Usually I have even more to show you. It's just this one. This week has been really trying to get that baby blanket finished. Um, but I, I also want to bring back to do tutorials again. I haven't done one in a while, but um, I want to get back into the swing of things and do that as well. So, Thank you so much, and thank you to those that have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate it. I really enjoyed your comments and just being able to interact with you all. I have a Facebook group, Yarn Joy Podcast, if you want to go over there and um, join up if you are on Facebook. Uh, I am going to be continuing the monthly random drawing that I did last year uh, for the uh, where you post pictures at the end of each month of the amount of yarn, the la yarn labels that you use the skeins up. Uh, and then um, it doesn't matter. It, it, I'm not, the way I do it, though, it's a random drawing. So it's, it's whether you finished six skeins of yarn or... 60 skeins of yarn <laughs> you're it's just if you post a picture then um 
I'll do a random drawing and then the winner will will get just a little bit of happy mail from me it's just something fun to do and and it helps to inspire us to uh, work through some of our stash <laughs> okay so um, and like I said that that happens over on the Facebook group okay I think that's it everybody have a wonderful weekend and we will see you in the next video bye